Ah, what's up, guys? Back again, back again with another one. Uh, yeah, man, where to start? Yesterday was pretty eventful for the most part, although the day started off. I don't know, I wasn't in a good energy to begin with. Um, I don't know what it was. It was kind of like a rainy type day. Couldn't really muster the energy to do what I wanted to do. But at the end of the day, um, it ended up being pretty eventful, man. Um, ended up talking with uh, Janine, the head, the uh, well, the business owner, the head coach of Oshawa BJJ, one of the head instructors. She also owns the business, so however, you, whatever that makes it. The head top dog, top top female, whatever. But um, yeah, so we just had a quick meeting with Janine, discussed my plans for the future, discussed my intentions for the future of my involvement with Oshawa BJJ. I'm hoping to, you know, get my roots in with them and build with their company and hope that, uh, hope that, uh, you know, I can build a future. But um, sorry about the lawnmower. Somebody's just lawn mowing. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so... No, I was just discussing with Janine my future plans for, you know, how I want to be involved with Oshawa BJJ and what my... What are the things, some of the things that I want to achieve and some of my goals and, you know, the dreams that I have. I definitely want to uh, help out with the pre-teens, the teens young adults, adults, you know, get some of the self-defense stuff going, that'd be really cool for the future, and I think that'll be pretty, um, you know, pretty key to bringing new faces in the gym and getting a nice diverse group of people, I feel like these days with the economy the way it is, a lot of people are penny pinching, and you know, when you're penny pinching, one of the first things that's going to go is always going to be extracurricular activities now. It's very important to stay active in these times, you know, some of the only things that are going to keep people mentally well is exercise. Now, I'm, you know, I have nothing against people that go to the regular gym, but I just firmly believe that the martial arts community can give you more than just a regular gym. A lot of times, your regular gym, you know, you're good and you get the pump going, whatever, a couple months, and the people that are there hype you up for a while that work there, because obviously they want your money and they want your business, but for the most part... You fall off after a while. The minute that something, you know, happens in your life, I don't know, you just end up falling off. Could be a couple months in. And that's most people. That's not everybody, but a lot of people, that tends to be the case. So with martial arts, though, I feel like, I feel like there's a lot more accountability. I feel like the community <clears throat> themselves holds you accountable. You know, you don't come to class once or twice. Somebody's already ringing off your phone, getting in your DM, asking why you missed class, right? So... And, you know, it's a team sport. It was actually, no, sorry, correct myself. It's an individual sport, but it has team elements. It has the support of the team, but it also is a singular sport because for the most part, it's only you that's, you know, that's in there. <laughs> it's you versus the other person at the end of the day. So, um, yeah. And, yeah, I don't know. Um, I just feel like these days uh it's important for all the gyms to stick together i think that there's unity in numbers i think that there's no room right now for gym versus gym i think everybody needs to build a strong community and let the chips fall where they may i mean there's a different club for everybody right and not everybody is in the competitive space not everybody is in the self-defense space not everybody's in the you know not everybody's doing the uh the, the the what's it called thing the um you know self-defense or mma or whatever what have you there's so many different types of gyms but at the end of the day you know you're gonna pick one you're gonna pick the gym that resonates the most with you so go with that and you know not every gym is everybody's cup of tea so you kind of got to decide where you want to go but at the end of the day there's plenty of good options to choose from um, if you're not the type of person that stays at a regular gym lifting weights very long, you might want to give martial arts a try, man. And obviously I'm biased for jujitsu. It just is what it is. It's my fucking sport. It's what I resonate though with. And if you're an athlete or if you guys are in a different type of sport, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's hard to do crossover sports when you really resonate with one sport. So 
and um you know so it just is what it is man it's kind of where i'm at today was also kind of like rainy and i ended up kind of just poking my head outside for a minute and it got nice and sunny all of a sudden it's nice and clear as you guys can see the sun is out so you know i'm just taking a nice walk um i'm about two days out from my orthopedic surgeon appointment i'm hoping for some good news as i have pretty good function of my arm and every day it feels better although because of the nature of the injury and the fact that i'm a guy and you know i gotta do things and support myself and move around nobody's gonna do anything for me so you know it's easy to re-injure you know i still gotta make a living so but uh i got a very nice comment in one of my last videos that really that really uh it sheds some light it's just like you know in these times when you get injured it kind of you can feel as if you're alone in in your in your injury and your recovery and you feel like you're the only person going through this shit when there's plenty of people that are in worse situations than you so i always try to look at things that way um, i'm just happy to be healing up i'm just trying to stay humble and not fuck myself up because you know it's just going to take longer to recover long and then you might injure yourself permanently permanently so um it is what it is man just staying positive and whatever happens happens so yeah man um that's that might be it for now i just wanted to touch base with you guys um you know i'm trying to plan this submission only event for my other channel if you guys haven't subscribed to the submission syndicate on youtube make sure you do that obviously i have my other channel rome grown and we're just getting started in our growth season. I'm going to be uploading some videos today. I do got a lot of editing to do, so I'm just taking my time and fucking, you know, I'm just not stressing out. But uh, with all the editing, man, that's the, that's the stuff that you guys don't see behind the scenes. All the effort that goes in, so. But yeah, man, other than that, I'm just trying to keep my sanity together because I can't train. And I don't know, I guess I'll just... I guess I'll just fucking upload you guys on what's going on, man, around that time. But yeah, trying to do a submission-only event. I'll send out the flyers pretty soon, and you'll see what's going on. So, you know, keep you guys in a loop or whatever. Uh, yeah, man, that's it for now. Um, yeah.